All right, welcome back. Uh, May is National Water Safety Month, and in Connecticut, uh, unintentional drowning is the leading cause of children's <coughs> deaths. And I have a couple of very great people here with me today. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Leonard, thank you, first of all, so much for taking the time out of your business. Mr. Busy... and Mrs. Leonard? Yeah, it sounds so formal. We can't be formal I'm here, but I'm yeah. with Stu and Kim and here. And you used to be in Norwalk all the time. That's right. We go way back. Yeah. Absolutely. But I was thinking about... It's the time of year I talk about temperatures warming up. A lot of people are talking about cleaning their yeah. pools up. But I thought about no one better to talk about safety than you folks. And I want to thank you so much for coming in. Uh, if you would just share, if you want, uh, the, the history that you have. It's a moving story yeah. and what happened to you. You want to? Uh, all right. Um, it was our oldest daughter's third birthday. We were getting ready for her party. We had family all around. Um, and I think. As the years have gone by, mm -hmm. we hear more and more that's when a lot of times drownings happen because people let their guard down because families are around, friends are around. Right. Anyhow, I was in uh, making the cake, putting the cake together. Stu was outside hanging up balloons, and um, I assumed Stu was, had him. I mm. thought, oh, Stewie, well, I saw Stewie go out the door. Stu's watching. He's only 21 watching. months old. Yeah. And, um, he thought I was watching him, and okay. it just happened just that like little, that. That's what we minutes. talk about. It only yeah. takes a short amount of time. And our son drowned, and so everybody watching, mm. one of the things Kim and I were so happy you had us on today, but we just want to let everybody know who's watching today. Just be so aware, you know, when you're out around the pool. And right. Make sure when you have a dad and a mom that one of them is locked onto that okay. child and watching. And they know. Them. They're like the designated watcher. Right. Don't always assume, assume that someone else is the responsible right. person, but make connection. Um, and I just want to talk on a, on a sideline, too, that it seems to me when I see people at pools or at the beach, a lot of people are snapping photos, but people in the photo are on their phones. Oh. Do you think that's another layer here of, of danger? Well, you know, one of the things, you know, we heard the Red Cross gave a great saying, it's not a lack of supervision, it's a lapse of supervision. Mm. That's what happened to Kim and I. And so, you know, you just, you, you know, just being on your phone, you're not watching your kid. Right. So and that and or that just a book <laughs> yeah and it happened so quick and now this how long ago was it now since Dewey drowned? Uh, Twenty five years. No, no more. Uh, Nineteen ninety one. Nineteen ninety one. So no, eighty nine. Eighty nine. Yeah. So and we've heard tens of thousands. You know, we've been people out people that have expressed to you. And we can't we can't tell you how many near drownings there is. Mm. You know, where somebody and probably people listening today have, have said, oh, that almost happened to me. We've heard so many, there's thousands of those. So it's so critical right now for the moms and dads, even grandma and grandpas. Spend a little time, review things, but what are you two <clears throat> doing now? You had a book out uh, already, <clears throat> but you've started another book and a mobile campaign yeah. as well. well what size book that. you want? <laughs> I see we you have a book. variety, but well, you're you turning this into an education well, you know, the for one, people. The one thing was, the best, some of the best feedback we got with this book was with the little kids. They mm -hmm. loved the song because it's to the tune, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay. Well, well, basically, we wrote this book. It has three lessons in it, okay? And, and this is what Kim and I and our daughters, we have four daughters now oh, okay hey so <laughs> I, I live with five women <laughs> <laughs> you're a good man <laughs> yeah I know. so um but anyway wrote this book and there's three lessons one of them is is learn how to swim and that's why kim and i support and our foundation we've raised over a million dollars now just for the ymcas within the state of connecticut that's moving i was reading about that how can people watching right now though help you in that mission well you could go to stewytheduck.org and there's all the information on that that, that can help and a hundred percent of all the proceeds go to basically the ymcas which are desperate you know for funding obviously you see sure. with the state budget and everything so but that know, will save a life. Yeah, we we teach swimming lessons. We've given now what Kim over a hundred thousand swim lessons in the state. We've we've Amazing. sponsored over eleven hundred uh, lifeguard training with Wonderful. Red Cross. But we wrote this book, and this is something even Jess, who is just on here, right? Sure. Does your web yeah, stuff. yeah. But we have a little book. We're giving him this one right here for his daughter Avery. But um, there's three lessons in here that we found are, are essential for everybody. One of them is is don't jump in until you learn to swim. That's okay. So go to the Y, sure. take swim lessons. The second one is cover your chest with a safe life vest. 
So wear some type of flotation. Mm -hmm. The things Kim and I love are those little speedo swim things with the right, styrofoam. Right, that go all the way, yeah. You can let your kid, basically it helps them float. For a safety net almost that way. Give us the last one. We're kind of out of time, but I don't want to leave without... And the parent must watch you around the pool. You know, That's so very teach important. So, so those are the three rules you hit in this book, StewieTheDuck.org. Awesome. Here it is right <laughs> here. You, that is the you. website. I, we could talk for, um, you know, yeah. I'm going to mm -hmm. be uh, working for you if I yeah. keep this up. But <laughs> I love the points. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy right. schedule coming in. It is very I wouldn't important. miss those red socks today. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who wants my socks? We'll see if we can work a deal out for some of that good food you Thanks sell. Thanks for having us on. Be All safe, right. everybody. There Please. you go. Thank Jocelyn, you. over to you.